so many people fail the driving tests. So before I go into any more detail, which is clearly boring, Max, because he just <laughs> wants to drive. I can see it. Oh, shut up. I'm like a child in a candy <laughs> shop. I just want to drive. Max, this is a one-way road. Okay. You have giveaway lines, which are double white lines, all the way across the end of the road. Can you see them? Yes, I can. I'm going to ask you to turn right at the end of the road. Smashing. Where will you position? On the right-hand side of the road. On the very far yeah, right-hand side. Angling myself into the turn. Very good. And that is because this is a one-way road. No one comes in. Okay. So you must position all the way on the right. If we don't, you will fail your driving test because it's going to stop people from turning left. Yeah. Does that make sense? So that's why we need to be on the right. When you're ready, drive on. At the end of the road, turn right. Good. So Max is getting his blind spot checks in now. Well done. So we've got some progression here. Double blind spot check there. Excellent habit. Well done, Max. Thank you. Good signal there as well. Yeah, we'll help people. Even if we can't yeah. see any, they might see us. We'll help them. Good. Max is getting his mirror checks in before his signal. Beautiful positioning here. Excellent speed on the approach. And Max doesn't like it, so Max has put yeah. the brake on. That's cool. Because you're traveling quite slow, it's yeah. not a big deal. It's not going to cause any accidents. If you change your mind and you decide to stop suddenly, okay? Yeah, Max, you're turning too early. You see that? Yeah. Again, you're coming yeah. into the oncoming side. Remember when you need to start to turn right. When is it? Yeah, like when I meet the, the markings in the, in the street. Excellent. Now, this guy, stop, Max. This guy decided to stop walking behind you. And go in front of us. Uh, see how people just, you don't know what people are going to do. Yeah. So a zebra crossing is an example. I'm not going right here before. No, I haven't given you any directions. So, no directions are given. Follow the road ahead. Good. Excellent. Keep going, Max. So, we're here at crossroads. You have priority because yeah. this is your half of the road. Yeah. Your side. You're the boss. So, you know the van that was on here on the right? Okay, carry on, sorry. That van that was on your right? Yeah. Were you right. worried about him? A little bit, yes. Okay. Like he was edging out. Good. Now, he has to stop for you. All right. Who do you have to stop for here? Uh, oncoming traffic. Good, well but done. there's nothing there, so Excellent. I'm just going to continue. Mirror check for change of direction. Mirror checks for change of direction. It's going out, yeah, around yeah. the bollard, and then coming back. Just like this parked car. Excellent, well done. Now you can just focus on all of this as you're moving your car, because you've done that. You don't want to look in your mirrors and move your car because you want to see where you're going. Yeah. So do it before we get to that situation. Position from the left is fair, but because of the bend and the oncoming traffic, which we can't see due to the bend of the road, try to keep your one meter from the left. Max, we're in a place called Harrow on the Hill. Welcome to the oasis of the West. Now, this road will really test your meeting situations and your judgment in the bends like we just mentioned. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see where you position your car as you go into these bends Stop for safety. Up. Very good. You've got the sign here, which is different from before. Hey, so the like, scooter there's guy. There's no need for you to be there, bro. Very good. He had to stop for you, but he didn't. So you're going to be the defensive driver. You're not going to run him over, even though you're correct. He's wrong. Excellent. So even though someone goes against the highway code, if we can prevent that accident, we must try our best. Yeah, of course. We do not want to cause accidents, regardless of it being their fault or not. Okay? Right. See what I'm saying about meeting situations and judgment? You had the bus there, yeah. less space, less speed. I would stop here because you don't want to get any further forwards to this parked vehicle. Yeah. It's going to cause the angle of your vehicle to be too great. So if we start to move out early, like this distance from the oncoming vehicle, excellent mirror checks. Can you see your angle smoother? Yeah. Still keeping the excellent safe distance from the parked cars, which is... How far uh, would you like to keep? Yes, which is roughly a meter from the left. Well done. 
Very good with your less space, less speed. Super important. And less C, less speed. Oh, Stop early. Because remember, we don't want to get too close to this vehicle in yeah. front. These are meeting situations. You're going to meet the bus. You have to stop. But stop early. This will give you an easier time. Looking off the reflections of. Use the reflection off that shop. See the shop here, yeah, Max? Yeah. Good. Very good that you bring that up with reflections. It gives you that little bit extra visibility yeah. which can help you to make a decision. Well done. So all I've been encouraging you to do, if you can, is stop a bit before the parked car, a little yeah. bit earlier. Why? Just to give yourself more, t uh, more space to maneuver. Excellent. Very good. So and that way you can also see what's coming around the corner. Yes. So you're not um, blinded by a, a big van or Lovely. whatever it may be. And when you see less, when your visibility is less due to parked cars or bends in the road, what do you want to do for speed? Slow down a bit. Excellent. At the end of the road, turn left. Very good mirrors before signal. Excellent. Going from running to jogging to walking speed. Visibility is fair at this junction, so Max can make a very good decision whether it's safe. And that pretty much covers our meeting situations and where you'd want to start, how you deal with your speed due to less space and less C. Slow down, gives you more time. How does it feel when you slow down and you've got that big red bus coming towards you? It's kind of a little bit scary, man. Yeah? Like, it's just a, it's just a massive vehicle. Like, you don't want to be challenging that. Simple yeah. as that. How would it feel if you accidentally went quicker and you had a big bus coming towards you? Shouldn't be scared, I can tell you that much. Yeah. Because let's <laughs> be honest, that bus is going to add to a lot of vehicles on yeah, the road. It's going to win. Might is right. Not in this country though, okay? All right, so that's summarizing meeting situations. Max is gonna keep rolling because we know he's too eager to just keep it going, which is good. You know, the more time you spend driving, the better. Because a lot of people learn through that experience rather than just sitting parked up somewhere with an instructor, looking at lesson diagrams and talking about certain situations. Just get out there and do it. So, Max, you made, a, you made a funny noise there. What, what was that all about? Well, I took the corner a bit too wide there because um, I seen there was a parked car. Could and then there was oncoming traffic as well, which I didn't really ah, look at too much. So, could you see around the corner? Not entirely. So, it's less C? Steve. So, what do you think? Yes. So, that was the reason why it went wide, the speed. Yeah. Stop that's early. This is gaining that... It's just getting it more difficult for you. Yeah. So start to move out now. Move out. Keep your foot over the brake, but move yeah. out. Can you see how close we're getting to the corner of this vehicle? Yeah. See, this vehicle only knows where you are now, and you're really in a yeah. tight spot here. So you see how moving out late causes so much more difficulty yeah. to the situation. So you see like this parked car here. Mm -hmm. So you're out already. Yeah. See how far away that parked car is? Because yeah. it can see you. Yeah. If you're hiding, it won't give you space. Turn right at the traffic lights. Excellent mirrors, excellent signal, excellent position. A bit quick on the speed. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And then look. So remember that routine, MSPSL? I just said it out loud. Mm -hmm. Mirrors. Signal. So wait, I'm going down to that sign where it says Greenfield, right? Very so good. Right Position, which is correct. Excellent. And Max is planning, so he's using that red traffic light to his benefit. Excellent job. Well done. So this is the staggered crossroads again. You've mm. come from this side, that side, and now this side. So you have three different sides from this crossroads so far. Excellent. So it looks like Max has taken his time here, really taking in the road markings and trying to plan to position his vehicle correctly. 
for the next section of the crossroad. Nice, good. All done. And that's all done from you slowing early, taking the situation in, and planning when you were at that mic. Well done, really good. That's all you've been coaching, man. That's the secret to a advanced driver, to a you know a, a better, safer driver, is that they look long. Yeah. They plan early. So there's no sudden surprises, you know. There's no such thing as a car that comes out of nowhere. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. What do you think I mean by saying that? Sorry, just repeat that again. So there's no such thing as a car that comes out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Why do you think I say that? Because there's always some form of a line of vision. Mm -hmm. Maybe. What if there isn't and you go around the corner and you're like, ah, oh, this car just came out of nowhere. Whose fault is that? Mine. Yes. Because I'm not taking the right procedures. Yes. Precautions. If yes. I'm going around that corner too fast, then it's not giving me time to anticipate the other driver. Excellent. So, less speed, the better, I guess. Yes. <laughs> so, the two golden rules of driving. Less C, less, less A. good, and less space, less speed. Yes. If you follow that, you'll learn quicker. Okay, Max, just continue to follow the road ahead. The next part of this syllabus will involve width restrictions. I thought we've just done that. <laughs> Poopy pants time for Max. <laughs> yeah, squeaky bum time. And beyond that, which is even more squeaky bum time, you'll be joining a dual carriageway. So Max will be going from 20 miles an hour to 40 miles an hour in a space of roughly two car lengths and joining on to a multi-lane dual carriageway. Stay tuned. See you next time. Maybe I won't. <laughs> <laughs>